Good morning, folks. We've got the sun, eye candy from the SVS, pre-seismic anomalies, space news, and we'll be back later tonight for a special video on the climate report. Right now, we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet. Bright active region on the north, dark coronal holes out ahead of it. The solar flaring has been very low and is expected to remain that way unless the active region develops some better sunspots. Right now, it's just sparse surface magnetism beneath those arches. The solar wind is slightly variable this morning, but still in low intensity range. No major re-intensifications the last day, and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. Green bars on the KP index. Up next, the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. This is basically the difference between absorbed red light and reflected near-infrared from plants. It tells us even subtle variations in the vegetation from the light bouncing back. That one's on Goddard SVS, and there is both this version and a zoomed-out whole globe at once version at the link today. Quick shot at cosmology here, as the team has successfully set new limits for axions. By the way, that's the nice academic way of saying, we didn't find any, don't look where we looked anymore. Up next, the Nova story continues weirding. The first Nova-like characterized star producing a Nova, jumping the lines of definition and not by a small amount. The second brightest of the last decade, and one that continues to defy predictions and theory. We're going to add this to the body of unexpectedness we shared in the video July 22nd, You Don't Know Nova. Up next, it's this paper on a fault discovered under the Pacific Northwest, likely created in the 1872 rumble, one of the places that will continue breaking when Cascadia goes again. Then it's three links to pre-seismic anomalies piled on top of the mountain. Electron bursts, critical frequency of the ionosphere, which is the most complicated but one of the most reliable pre-shake signals, and of course Earth's magnetic field variations, which are also quite prolific in the earthquake preparation process. Now last but not least, hmm, hard to imagine any of you got through the last 24 hours on this planet without seeing a whole bunch of this. The 2021 climate reporting process from the IPCC has begun. And folks, between now and later tonight, I hope you can catch up on the parts of the climate playlist you might have missed. The mechanisms of solar forcing, the problems with modern models, and how when I attempted to summarize those in eight minutes, 10 professors and national lab scientists came calling and got their clocks cleaned. I'm going to do it again tonight. For anyone hoping suspicious observers would move quick to address the bonanza reported worldwide yesterday, I will see you in a few hours. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.